Welcome back to all of our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is a Monday, so we're talking about relationships, but this time, I suppose, a relationship with self. We are talking about spirituality and what role does that play in your life? And we have welcomed back uh, clinical psychologist Asha Dulab to unpack the topic. And I'm going to start with something that maybe I'm kind of speaking to myself a little bit here. For someone who's lost their way a little bit, or maybe someone who has never really focused on spirituality. What would you say to them? How can we draw people into this journey of self-exploration? Mm. I think it's important not to try and draw people into it because it is such a personal journey. So I think that, you know, we can look at the term of cognitive dissonance where we are, when we have a belief in something, we try and um, push away anything that conflicts with it. So, you know, we don't want to impose our beliefs or our journeys onto anyone else because it's such an individual process and um, this concept for spirituality has room for so many different perspectives and ideas so it's very personal and I think that um, one can meet that journey where they are right now. The journey has already started just by merely being born so it's <laughs> always been happening. You're already on the path, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You think closing just to close it off, what are some of the benefits and just yeah, the good ways that, uh, that we identify with spirituality and how they can just set us on a path of good life for, for everyone. Absolutely. So I think our journey of spirituality really enhances our, uh, enhances our overall well-being on all levels, our emotional well-being, our psychological well-being. It gives us that inner purpose, that inner meaning, it, that inner solace. It's a journey of self-awareness, of self-discovery, all for the greater good, um, in the name of abundant love. Um, and I think for me, it, sets, um, it says to me, it, it offers a space of freedom. So when we are really on a journey of spirituality, we are searching for freedom. And where's the root of freedom? In love. Would you say, building on that, because we are, and I'm going to use the word again, <laughs> unprecedented time, but it's, it's now become quite precedented because we, we've adapted. Um, is there an opportunity now more than ever to be able to embrace our spirituality? How should we be using this time that lockdown and mm. the conditions of the pandemic is, is forcing on us? I think that this vast majority of people that are questioning our existence, uh, uh, you know, beyond our physical being, and I think this virus being this invisible force that has just taken over, um, is, is making us ask that deeper questions of what is life? Who am I? What Why? do I want? <laughs> what is happening in this world? What gives me joy? These are all very important questions in this journey of spirituality and getting to know ourselves. Ask yourself those questions. Again, it is a journey yes. of just discovering who you are and asking those questions. Who, I am, who am I? And ultimately, it's not only just a relationship with yourself, but when you do get into a relationship with someone else, knowing yourself will just obviously complement that as well. Make you so much better. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Asha, thank you so much. Um, you've left me with far much more to think about um, than when we began, which is, is lovely. So thank you so much. Um, I found this hugely enriching and hopefully you two at, ho at home have done that. We have an opportunity now to think about our spirituality and make that shift for ourselves, not for anyone else. Spirituality means being engaged and connected to all aspects of the human experience and beyond, not just a way to seek refuge from the challenges of life, even if we really do feel that we need that right now. And if you'd like to seek professional help in this or any other area in your life, facing difficulties, then you can reach out to Asha herself. Um, you can go to um, info at ashadulab.com is how you can engage with her, but she'll be on Facebook live tonight, 7, 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. with Jared Ricketts talking further about spirituality, but hopefully this has allowed you to think a little bit more about it from your perspective.